We founded SICAS um, in 2004 when I was working in the University of the West Indies based here in Cave Hill. And it was at the time when HIV was uh, threatening to take um, deep root in the Caribbean and we felt that we needed to set up um, an organization that would help build capacity in the Caribbean and enhance our resilience to HIV through better diagnostics and better treatment protocols to make sure that we kept HIV under control. So we established uh, CCAS, which stands for the Caribbean Cytometry and Analytical Society, and it's kept going over the years. We've had an annual conference, and the idea is to rotate CCAS throughout the Caribbean, and in so doing, we capacitate our colleagues across the Caribbean, and uh, over the years, we've been able to uh, have tremendous impact across the sub-region to empower our colleagues to improve how we manage HIV and keep it under control. History teaches us a lot of lessons and from what I presented it shows that HIV was a, a lapse in biosecurity, uh, a lapse in governance and ethical moral standards. And so as scientists and members of community, uh, we need to be sure that we are operating under norms of acceptable biosecurity governance. We're moving into an era of expanding populations and increasing human footprint, which is affecting our ecosystem. And nature has a way of kicking back. So if you are impacting your ecosystem and you're not being careful, then the ecosystem will hit you with what we call emerging infectious diseases. And here in the Caribbean, you've seen enough of them. And so as uh, custodians of our environment and custodians of our science, we need to be sure that we are operating, first of all, to maintain our ecosystem, to make sure that we don't allow abnormal scenarios for these infections to emerge like dengue and chikungunya and flu and Ebola and Zika. Um, and even if they do occur, that we have systems in place that can uh, predict and respond quickly to make sure that it, they don't become outbreaks that can cause pandemic situations and kill thousands if not millions of people.